so we're going to start today from lying down on your mat. So make your way to your mat or to your space and lie down with your hips in the center and your head reaching towards the back of your mat. So placing your back flat down, you can tuck your chin a little bit. Let's put our hands, palms facing down, our feet planted, knees bent for just a second just to breathe. Close your eyes if you feel like it and just arrive on your mat and in your practice. Maybe you want to take a deep breath and as you exhale, letting everything go, sinking down into your body. Give you a little bit of time to maybe take a few more deep breaths or just to observe the normal pace of your breath to feel how your body feels, where it connects to the mat, to the ground, the weight of your body, the length, the space you can take up. Maybe tuning into the sounds around you to orient yourself in the space. Wherever you are, take one more breath. And then I want you to reach your feet up to the sky. So legs straight. You can take your arms out to the side, above your head, whatever feels comfortable. And I just want you to circle your feet. So circling into those ankles. And see if you can bring your toes into it, wiggling those toes around at the same time, spreading them out. Becoming aware of your feet, what they feel like, any tensions. And reverse those circles. Really want you to be spreading out those toes so that you can feel in between the toes at the balls of the feet and around the ankles. Good. All right. Flex those feet. Draw your toes as close to you as you can while keeping your heels reaching to the sky. Now point those feet. You don't have to point the toes if you don't want to. You can just stretch them out, reach them up, and relax the feet. Bring the legs close together in the air. Arms in a T-shape. If you've got room, bend your knees. And we're going to take the knees together over to one side for one breath, so easy twist. Exhale. Come back through your center and to the other side. One breath. And coming back through your center. So you can either roll over to one side and push on up or cross your ankles hold on to your shins, rock yourself up into a cross-legged, comfortable seated position and we're going to take cat-cow here. So hands coming towards the knees, not gripping, just place there. We're going to inhale, reach the chest up towards the sky, lengthening the spine. Exhale, rock it back. Inhale, reach on up. Exhale, fold it back. One more time, inhale. Open out the chest, shoulder blades drawing back. Exhale, curve on back, tuck the chin. Now we're going to repeat that with the arms lifted. So inhale, arms towards the sky. See if you can still open out that chest. Exhale, fold on back, arms coming in front of you, reaching forwards. Inhale, lifting up, moving through any cracks or creaks. Exhale, lengthen back. One more time, inhale. Reach it up, open the shoulders. Exhale, curve it back, really good. All right, lengthen up, arms towards the sky. You don't have to be reaching your chest through, just reaching straight with that spine and let's start to repeat the circle that we did with the ankles and the wrists. 
So circling those hands and also again bringing in the fingers. So wiggling them fingers around, spreading them out, really finding the extent, the expanse in your hands and what you can do and really releasing any tension or any tightness. Building a little bit of heat there, it might be hard work. Reverse those circles. Keep breathing. Feel through the work. Alright, hands coming to stillness, reach up as high as you can. You can look up towards the sky, inhale. Exhale, plant the hands down in front of you. You can either swing your legs around or roll over the knees, walking the knees out into a tabletop position. So wrists stacking underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We're going to walk the hands further forwards as we inhale, spread out the chest. Exhale, let the chest sink through those shoulder blades into puppy pose. We're going to take three deep breaths here. Feeling the hands spread, feel where the toes touch the ground and the release in the upper back. Alright, roll on back up, restack those hands underneath the shoulders, maybe move a little bit further forward if you're quite far back. And we're going to step on out to plank position. So really spread out those hands and plant the fingertips down. Draw your shoulder blades down your back and your pelvis into line. Spread out those toes and maybe lift the knees a little bit if you feel like you're sitting into those kneecaps. We're going to take a few breaths here to find the strength for the practice. Head reaching away from the heels. Keep breathing. One more deep breath and we're going to push those hips back up as we exhale to downwards facing dog. First downwards facing dog of the practice so feel free to bend your knees as you spread out those toes to really find the length in that spine. One deep breath here and then as you exhale, move back into plank and we're going to do that three more times. Not holding for as long in plank this time, don't worry. We're going to reach your back, downwards facing dog. So try and keep the belly strong, the abdominals not tight but strong, engaged and not lifting into the pelvis or opening out the back as we move through down dog to plank, so keeping the torso straight and strong for the next two cycles. So coming forward to plank, push it back, down dog. So we're just opening through those shoulders and the hips, keeping the torso straight one more time. Plank pose. And downwards facing dog, good, all right. Looking forwards, walk or step to the front of your mat. Feet hip distance apart, fold over for one moment. Relax the head and then lengthen, come all the way up. Reach the arms to the sky, palms coming together. Exhale, hands into prayer position, mountain pose. So we're going to keep it moving, bringing the legs together, bring the big toes together, squeeze the legs together. We're going to find our chair pose straight away. So bending the knees, spreading out the toes, sweep your fingertips along the mat, bring the body up. You can leave the arms apart or bring the palms together. We're only going to stay here for three breaths this time, lifting up the belly button to lengthen through the spine and lengthen that pelvis. One last breath, exhale, lengthen the legs, fold on over, inhale, half lift, lengthen the spine, exhale, plant the hands, step it back to high plank, chaturanga dandasana, lower down, 
Inhale, upward facing dog, reach the chest high. Exhale, downwards facing dog, one breath. As you inhale, come forwards to plank pose. Draw your right leg towards your chest and plant your foot in between your hands, dropping the back heel down. Shuffle the heel further forward than the knee at the front. Reach the arms up, warrior one. Deep breath here. Only staying for this one breath, we're gonna exhale, bring the hands back down. Tuck the back toes underneath, step it out, high plank, lowering down. Inhale, upwards facing dog. Exhale, downwards facing dog. Staying here for that one breath. Make use of it. Repeating on the other side. So as you inhale, coming forward to plank. Left knee into the chest. Plant the left foot in between the hands. Shuffle, walk it forwards. Back heel down. Lift it up with those arms with the body reaching up to the sky, warrior one. Only here for that one breath. Exhale, hands coming down. Tuck the back toes underneath, step it out into high plank, lower it down. Inhale, upwards facing dog, so we're keeping it moving. Exhale, downwards facing dog. One deep breath here. Good, so we've moved through our sun B. And carrying on moving, we're coming forwards again into that plank pose. A little extra strength work before we carry on. So lift off the right leg. We're going to get straight on into it. Bring the knee in towards the chest. And then lengthen it back out, flex the foot. Long line two more times. Lengthen it out. One more time. Lengthen it out, plan it down, press back to down dog. One breath here. Exhale. Forwards to plank, repeating on the left side. Lengthen the foot away, flex the heel. Draw it into the chest. Lengthen it out. Draw it in. One more time, lengthen it out. And draw it in. Press it back. Drop it down, downwards facing dog. Good. All right, so let's lengthen the left leg towards the sky. Draw the knee in towards the chest in that plank pose we were just in and then plant the foot in between the hands again, shuffling it further forward than the knee. Back heel down, open out, warrior two, hips to the long edge of the mat, arms T-shape. Good, let's straight away move to reverse warrior. I'm coming down the back, lengthened leg reaching up and over. One or two deep breaths. Come back up, warrior two. Moving to extended side angle, so forearm onto the front thigh, or hand towards the floor on the inside, or the outside of the foot reaching up and over. Long line. Really opening out the side body, so twisting a little bit towards the sky so that you're that long line in the torso. Lengthen up, warrior two. Lengthen the front leg, maybe walk it in a little bit, moving to triangle pose. Inhale, lengthen the arms wide. Exhale, full sideways towards the front leg. Climbing down, both legs are lengthened towards the shin, the ankle, or hooking that big toe with the first two fingers reaching up towards the sky. Again, just one or two breaths here. Keep reaching up the kneecaps even if they're a little bit bent, keep the strength there. Spread out the toes. And we're going to come back up. And we're going to shuffle to face the front of the mat. Feet still in that triangle pose, but toes facing more forwards evenly now. And feet hip distance apart, we're twisting our triangle. So front left hand on the hip, right hand towards the sky, inhale. Exhale, reach as far forward as you can, and then twist to the outside of that leg, to the shin, the ankle, or to the floor on the outside of the foot, reaching up to the sky, hand on the hip, or in the sky, lengthening. 
again lifting up those kneecaps even if you have to bend them a little bit to keep yourself safe one more breath exhale both hands now on either side of the front foot inhale lengthen your spine exhale fold over that front leg into pyramid pose Good, all right, bend the front leg, tuck the back foot underneath, plant the hand, step it back, high plank. Lower it down, Chaturanga Dandasana, elbows coming close to your body. Inhale, upwards facing dog. Exhale, downwards facing dog. We're going to repeat all that on the other side, so right leg towards the sky, inhale. Exhale, knee into the chest, plant the foot in between the hands. Back heel down, warrior two, hips the long edge of your mat. One deep breath. Exhale, reverse warrior, arm down the back, lengthened leg reaching up and over. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, extended side angle, forearm to the thigh, or hand to the outside of the foot or in front. Reaching up and over. Keep lifting up your belly button, keeping this pelvis in line. So we're not sticking anything out or pinching anything in. Just feeling long, spacious. All right, come on up. Lengthen the front leg, walk it in a little bit. Triangle pose, inhale, arms wide. Exhale, fold sideways, reaching down to the shin. The ankle hooking that big toe, reaching up towards the sky. Keep breathing deeply. And we're coming back up. Hips towards the front of the mat. Feet hip distance apart, toes facing more forwards now. Right hand to the hip, left hand in the sky, inhale. Exhale, fold as far forward as you can, then twist it over outside of the leg, ankle up to the floor, twisting towards the sky. Really reaching this front hip backwards by lengthening the legs. One more deep breath. Exhale, both hands either side of the front foot, lengthen the spine, inhale. Exhale, pyramid pose, fold over those legs. Keep reaching up the kneecaps. One more deep breath. Bend the front knee, plant the hands, tuck the back toes under, step it back, high plank, lower it down. Inhale, upwards facing dog. Exhale, downwards facing dog. And looking forwards, walk or step to the front of your mat. Big toes together. Planted at the ball of that big toe. Lengthen up, inhale. Half lift only. Exhale, fold over. Squeeze the legs together. Bend the knees, sweep those fingertips. Reach on up into chair pose. Planting down into those heels. And lengthen up, palms coming to heart center, mountain pose. Now we're going to keep on grounding, moving through our variations of chair pose. So we're going to use it like a flow, adding everything in all together, everything you could want in your practice. So spread out your toes. Squeeze those legs together, make sure the balls of the big feet are together, the heels can be a little bit further apart. Sweep those fingertips along the mat, bending deep, take the weight into your heels as you come on up with your body, sitting down into those thighs, as well as lengthening up the belly button, reaching towards the sky. So take a few breaths here. Opening up those shoulders. 
And so now we're going to take it twisted. We're going to repeat on both sides. So bring the arms in front of you. And then swing. Let's swing the right arm back behind you, opening out. So we're twisting around arms in this T-shape. Good. Let's bring the arms into prayer position in this twist. So still facing the same way. So if you like then, you can use the arm that's towards the front of your mat, the top of the arm coming down onto the opposite thigh, twisted chair in prayer position, reaching the head away from those hips. Keep breathing. And if you want to go deeper, we can extend the arms again, this time one towards the floor, one towards the sky, maybe even bringing the fingertips down towards the ground. Keeping the arm on the outside of the thigh, down the knee. Keep breathing in whatever variation you chose, however far you've gone. And let's come on up, reach up to chair pose, keep bending into the knees. We're going to repeat on the other side. So arms coming in front of you. Swing the left arm back this time, opening out to the side. Spread out the toes still, keep bending into the thighs. Bring the hands into prayer position. And then bring the top of the front arm to the opposite thigh. Keep reaching the head away from those hips. And then if you want to go deeper, lengthen the arms one to the sky, one towards the ground. See if that affects your belly button in any way. Maybe you have to scoop up a little bit more. Good. A few more deep breaths. And reach on up with those arms. Lengthen up the legs for a moment to mountain pose. And we're going to continue a little bit deeper using the twisted chair to move into other poses. So sweep those fingertips along the mat, bend the knees. Reach on up with the arms. Bring the hands into prayer position. Twist, let's twist towards the right side. Bringing the top of the arm down to the opposite thigh. Now we're going to see if we can step out from this position. So don't worry if anything wobbles, if you need to give it another go, if it's not working for you today, no judgement on yourself. Bring the weight into the leg, so the right leg where the arms are, see if you can step back with the left foot into a lunge, so that the right foot is further forward than its knee. Good. Keep breathing here. Maybe if you want to, you can again extend the arms one towards the sky, one towards the floor. Or you can even wrap those arms around the underneath of that front right leg and around your back to bind behind you, lengthening the head away from the hips. So a lot of strength in this thigh today. And let's keep it moving. So, the left arm, the opposite to the front leg, reaching forward. See if you can bring the weight into that hand and the front foot lengthening off the left foot into this twisted crescent moon pose. So, opening the arms to the sky. So, we're twisting like we're twisting our warrior three. And let's take it the other way. So, same arm as leg, right hand coming down. Open out the hips. Open to the sky with the opposite arm. Balancing, leg off the ground, parallel to the floor. You can take this bound as well, so a little bit more weight in the hand. Bend the knee of the leg in the sky and reach back for it with the same arm's leg. We're moving into a few more balance poses now. So hips facing towards the front now, even. Knee that was in the air, so the left knee coming in and stand on up, keep that knee lifted. So what I want you to do now, take a moment as you're standing up, bend both knees while keeping this top knee lifted, I'll show you this way, 
See if you can cross the thigh of the top leg over the bottom one, keeping both knees bent. Moving into eagle pose if you know it, if not I'll demonstrate and I'll talk you through it. So if you can, this top leg is lifted so you can wrap the foot around the lower calf. Good. If not, no worries. Keep just pressing the top thigh over the opposite. Arms lengthening. So let's take the opposite arm. So right arm underneath the left arm. Cross them over. Bend both elbows. So elbows are beyond each other. And then rewrap the opposite way so that the palms come together into eagle pose. A few breaths here. Maybe pause. Have a look at what you're doing if it's new to you. Give it a go again. Or if not, no worries. Alright, lengthen up. Unbind everything. Knee towards the sky again. Palms coming together. Prayer position. Moving into figure four pose. So cross this time the ankle or the shin and the calf over the top of the opposite thigh. And then bending down. Bring the elbows down towards the leg or reaching them forwards, opening out the chest, reaching them shoulder height or you can come down low and rest those elbows onto that lower leg. Whichever feels better for you and you want to give a go. So this is a kind of variation on the chair pose again few deep breaths, a lot of strength in that leg, right? Alright, lengthen it up, knee towards the centre, drop it down, we're going to repeat all that. So, squeezing those legs together, sweep the fingertips along the mat, lengthen up to chair pose. I'll show you this way. So, moving into your twisted chair on the opposite side, to, towards the left side now. Moving across, upper arm of the right arm coming to the opposite leg, thigh, and seeing if we can step it back, weight into the left leg, walk back with the right leg into a lunge position, and you can stay here for a few breaths, finding your balance, trying the step out, or you can see if you want to extend those arms, one towards the sky, one towards the ground, or even binding them underneath arm, underneath that front leg, other arm around the back, bringing the fingers together and clasping in, head reaching away from the hips, a few breaths, one more breath, let's keep it moving on this side, so the opposite arm there's a front leg coming forwards, plan it down or come onto the fingertips, step up onto that front left leg, right leg in the sky parallel to the floor, twisting around with those arms. Few breaths and take it the opposite way, so other arm, same arm, left hand on the ground, opening out the hips the other way. No worries about any wobbles, no worries about having to come down. Listen to yourself. Taking the opportunity to come deeper into your own body and not focusing on any image. Bend the knee. Hold on to the foot if that's available to you. If that feels good for you. One more breath. Exhale. Come on up with the body, bringing the knee up. So finding the balance, standing up. And then we're going to lift that knee up, cross it over, thigh over the other thigh, bending both knees, squeezing those legs together. See if you can find your eagle pose, wrapping the foot that's lifted around the lower calf. If it's a lot on the balance, I didn't say so on the first side, but you can slide the leg down, drop the toe down, drop the ball of the foot down, find your stability maybe before you want to move on. Let's bind those arms around too, so opposite arm, left arm underneath the right, bending both elbows, lifting them up, palms coming together. A few deep breaths here. A lot of work on that underneath leg. Keep it going. Keep breathing.
No worries about any wobbles. <laughs> All right, unbend the arms, lift up the knee. This time cross over the ankle, over the top, the middle, or just above the knee, over the other thigh, bending down into this four angle pose. You can see the drawing of the four and the legs. Arms into prayer position. You can reach the arms down towards the legs or if you wanna work on the arm position in chair pose, reaching the arms, long line from the shoulders. Keep breathing. A little bit of burning, working that ankle and that foot. Keep it going, almost there. One more deep breath. Exhale, lengthen up, lift the knee up, plan it down, shake out. Shake out the ankles, shake out the legs. <sighs> Deep breaths, recenter. So just a few more chair variation sequences to play with before we move to the end of the class. So first of all, we're gonna go to that chair pose once again, the plain old chair pose, squeezing the legs together. Sweeping the fingertips along the mat, reaching up with the body. Now see if you can release, let's release the right leg toward the front, take the weight out of that leg, but you can place the heel down, flexing the foot, so this one-legged chair. Weight into that back heel of the bent leg, reaching up. So you can stay here, or we're gonna move into a toe hold. So see if you can lengthen up the underneath leg, lift up the, Right leg towards the sky, flexing the foot. Hold here for one second. Exhale, bend the knee. So toe hold, we can either hold on to the knee or you can reach forward for the toe with the first two fingers, flexing the foot, bending the knee and then lengthening the knee, other hand onto the hip. A few breaths wherever you are, on the knee, on the toe. And let's take it to the side, so either you're holding onto the knee or the foot, take the foot out to the side. Alright, foot coming back forwards, lengthen the arms off, see if you can lengthen the leg if your knee was bent, and then slide it back, we're finding dance pose, holding onto the foot, top of the foot, bending the leg. Lengthen the foot up towards the sky if that's available to you. Just opening out the back a little bit from all that work. One deep breath. Exhale, bring the knee into the chest. Release the foot, plan it down. We'll repeat all that on the other side. So bending, sweeping the fingertips, coming to chair pose. One breath. And then releasing the left foot forwards. Flexing the foot, heel can come down, but bring the weight out of that front foot so you can lift it if you want to. A little breather. Face this way for you guys. Now let's lift it up, lengthening the foot up towards the sky. One breath. Exhale, toe hold. So either onto the knee, holding onto the toe with those first two fingers. Lengthening the leg as far forward as you can. Maybe you even want to find a belt and pause. Put that around the balls of the feet and hold on to the belt. Extra length in the arms for you. Deep breaths. Standing up high. Let's open it out to the side. All right, bring it back to centre, shuffling around. Release the foot, lengthen the leg if you can, reach on up. Exhale, slide the leg back, hold on to the foot, dance the pose. Either just pulling it in or reaching the leg up, opening up the back. knee in towards the chest, release the foot and plant it down. So one last chair variation. This time the feet will be hip distance apart. So let's see 
If you can rise on up to the balls of your feet, lengthen the arms up, and then bend those knees, reaching the chest forward. You can sit back into the hips, but high up onto the balls of your feet. Good, a few breaths here. If you want to, there's a lot of shaking maybe. You can come all the way down. So if you want to give it a go, come all the way down to the ground. Arms reaching out in front of you to a squat pose, but the heels are lifted. We're down onto the toes. No worries about any shaking. I'm shaking away here. So staying wherever you are for a few breaths in this balance. Maybe you want to even see if you can come back up and reach it forwards. One more deep breath. Plant the heels down, rise on up, reach on up. Good. All right, let's move down. Three little stretches. So first Malasana squat pose, toes facing out, bend the knees, sit down as deep as you can into squat. As low as you can, maybe you're quite high up, no worries. Wherever you are, release the head. Release any tension out of the feet. You can always bring the hands into prayer position using the elbows to push those knees a little bit further apart, but don't feel like you need to right now. You can just release the head, plant the hands downwards. So if you're maybe higher up, kind of using it as a bent leg forwards fold. few deep breaths. <sighs> Enjoying the breath. Alright, reach on up with those hips, plant the hands down, step it back to that high plank and then we're just going to release the hips down, chest coming up into high cobra. If this is a lot for you, coming down onto the elbows and then pulling the chest through into low cobra, hip bones planted, heels facing towards the sky. You can even tuck the toes if you want to. Deep breaths, opening out the chest. Slowing down your breath. Deep breaths, relaxing those legs, legs long. Releasing any tension with your exhale. One more deep breath. Exhale, push back into child's pose. Sitting down to the heels, so play around with if you want your toes together and knees wide. Or everything in a straight line, maybe legs squeezing together, arms reaching long. This is our final pose, we've made it to the end of the class. In child's pose, so wherever you are, sinking down, take one deep breath and exhale, settle in, finding your breath again, feeling how your body feels, letting the deep breath, the exhale, letting you sink down, letting it relax you, helping you let go and find your last release. So I'll give you some time to breathe to yourself. Sinking down, feeling the weight of your body on the mat and feeling the gradual release in between your joints and your muscles with your exhale. See if as your breath slows down, as your engagement 
slows down so you can hear your breath hearing the sounds around you and feeling your stillness connecting your forehead to the ground One more deep breath, the deepest breath. You can take the final breath. And then roll on up to sit on your heels. Let's sit off to one side, swing those legs around to the front. Maybe keep them long for a second, just shake out your knees, shake out your legs, shake out your toes, maybe your hands too. Move around your head, your shoulders, easing out any last tension. And then make your way to a comfortable cross leg position for just one moment. Hands coming onto the knees. Settling back into your surroundings. Alright. So thank you for joining in this class today, I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again next time.